Well, as your station for health, it's important to know that gum disease affects about 85% of adults. And if it goes untreated, not only does it increase a person's risk of losing teeth, it also puts them in jeopardy of developing type 2 diabetes. Yeah, who knew, right? Well, we have a Houston doctor here who's using this breakthrough procedure to combat both of these things. So we have Dr. Meghna Dasani here to talk about this. And uh, you brought along also a patient who went through this procedure, Frank Stumbo. So we were just talking about this, and this is something, if you wanted to, you could go to work after. It's that, that easy. That is right. There is very minimal downtime. The procedure is done under local anesthetic. Basically, that's what we use when you're getting a filling or a crown or any other routine dental work done. And um, would you agree there was minimal discomfort? And Without uh, so, Doctor, tell us a little bit more about how this technology works. I mean, you are able to basically regenerate the gum tissue. That's right. So, what we do is we use a very specific laser. It's the Periolase MWP7, and uh, this is one of the first lasers that is minimally invasive, and it's about the thickness of about three strands of hair, so not thick at all. Mm. And we go in to target the disease tissue. All we're doing is targeting disease tissue. We leave the healthy tissue the way it is. We're getting rid of the bacteria. There is no cutting. There is no sutures. There is no scalpels. Local anesthetic, and minimal. Just that stuff. easy. So, Frank, uh, tell me what, how the, how has this changed your life since you've had this procedure? Well, my mouth feels definitely cleaner. It feels uh -huh. fresher. Um, I have a few bridges up in here that have settled in and have become very, very you know tight. Um, I think it's a great, great procedure. There's no pain whatsoever involved in it at mm. all. Were you nervous before you had oh, it? Oh, without a doubt. I, I had some bad trauma as a kid growing up mm -hmm. with dentists in the 60s. No painkiller, no anesthesia. Oh. So the doctor here and her staff uh, were fantastic in getting me over that hurdle. And this is painless. You ever hear that expression, painless dentistry? It really well, there is. There she is. Oh, <laughs> and you really do feel like you've gotten your confidence back and your, and your self-esteem back, too, well, to, to, yeah. to, to, to just show off that good-looking well, smile. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that's kind of secondary. I like more my health and right, I can eat go. something, you know? Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. That comes first, yeah. obviously. So gum disease, uh, uh, many people will develop this. What are some of the symptoms of it? How do you know when, when you have it? So there's a range of symptoms, right? You could have patients that complain of bleeding gums. For the record, bleeding gums is never normal. Um, we see patients where your gums feel loose. You don't feel like they're hugging the teeth as tightly as they should. A lot of patients complain of loose teeth where they don't feel as stable as they should. Like he said, they, his teeth feel like they've settled in better. Bad breath. Um, just spaces starting to develop between your gums because you're starting to lose bone. These are some of the signs and symptoms of periodontal disease. and then it does lead to other health issues as well, it, like we're talking about diabetes. Yeah, what's the link there? So this is inflammation. When you have gum disease, it's an inflammatory process. Your body has bacteria. I liken it to having a fire under your gums, and that's what's irritating your tissues, it's irritating your bone, it's irritating the gum, and it just puts you at a higher risk for developing diabetes. Just the correlation, folks that have gum disease are at a higher risk to get diabetes. People with diabetes, because we have that extra sugar, you're always at a higher risk mm. to ha develop periodontal infection. And we found that people with diabetes, if we make addressing the gum disease a part of the overall treatment protocol with their MDs, we do see their A1C levels go down, just overall more healthy mm -hmm. individuals. So, Doctor, for people who are interested in this new p procedure, about how much does it cost and, and, and who would be a good candidate for it? Um, there's a lot of things that go into consideration. One thing I do like about this is when we have patients that need to undergo traditional surgery, if, you know, a lot of folks are on blood thinners because they need it, their MDs recommend it, um, with this procedure we do not need to discontinue mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. because the laser is so minimally invasive, there isn't as much bleeding. We're not cutting anything. There's no stitches. So there is downtime, uh, very little downtime as compared to going through the traditional procedure. Um, as to who is a candidate, it's anybody that has moderate to severe 
periodontal disease. Some folks just need it in a localized area. Some folks need it generalized. We do need to uh, evaluate the patient, see what their body needs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and important to note too, we're coming up on the end of the year, so you might have some like benefits some, to use. Some benefits yes. to use, yeah. Yes. So give yourself the, I guess, the gift of a great smile That's and a right. healthy smile. smile. Yes. And we're so glad you're doing well oh, and, and, you and so that your, your health has improved. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you both so much. Well, thank you.